In today's video, we're going to be going over the Quilliam's Terminus Heavy Machine Gun from the King's Rule Raid, and why you should be giving this weapon a chance, rather than scrapping it. It's a bit of an odd one, as this season has allowed Machine Gun to shine for anti-champion activities, and with weapons such as Thunderlord making a grand return, plus Catalyst now dropping for you, you're going to be seeing a lot more of them in action. This is the same now with King's Rule weapons, and how some of them now offer some unique perk roles and combinations that many other seasonal weapons can't get. I'm talking Demolitionist and Drilling Junkie, or Focus Fury and Volvo Weapon, etc. Great combos and rare combos that you would never see. The Equilium's Terminus is one of those weapons that has been underrepresented by the masses for a number of reasons, and from the top of my head, I can tell it because of its low stability, handling, and reload speed which is a major hindrance to the many, its perk pool is questionable, it being stasis based so elemental usage is limited in match game activities, and it kicks like a mule unless you can control it. It's odd to see a good collection of weapons that are sought after by players have that one weapon that many feel wasted to use, but all hope is not lost for this weapon, as secretly it's one of the best heavy machine guns to use for sheer firepower and ammo capacity for this season and the next. Firstly, it's a high impact frame machine gun, so damage wise it's going to be good straight out of the package. Secondly, as it fires slow, you could be more accurate with your shots, and single fire targets for easier use. So straight away we see the weapon being good, but with a few ongoing issues. On the screen now, I have been using D2 Gunsmith to see what type of weapon combos are available if I were to craft one, and just for interest I want to see if the following weapon was salvageable. As shown, we have aimed for a higher magazine capacity setup that will allow us to fire for longer and make full use of killing tally damage buff as well before reloading. Having polygonal rifling, extended mag, stats for all or assemble enhanced, killing tally enhanced, reload masterwork and backup mag will get this weapon to have a plus 75 to 80 within its base magazine and a 5.39 second reload speed. Although on screen the effects aren't too noticeable in action, I can see this being very hard hitting primary weapon which would be capable of taking on a large number of endgame threats with ease. But that's not all, all King's Rule weapons now have the Rune of Over trait which is basically overflow and crack when surrounded by allies. This here with the base magazine could increase your size by even more to the point of having 100 within one magazine, although this will need to be tested first just to see if there is a cap to this or not. So big magazine and fast reload speed that can get even better if the origin trait activates is great and all, but can we keep improving it further? We sure can if we run stasis and use elemental worlds plus quantum might to the mix. With that damage bonus being applied to what we currently have, you can worry less about match game shields being used if you delete them first. This heavy machine gun is good, and I mean very good for general and endgame content. Its strength lies within using its frame type and magazine size to decimate minor, majors and ultras within seconds of appearance. It's not a DPS weapon, nor is it meant for boss damage phases as it's just too weak here, but if you use it more like a primary rather than a heavy, you'll see great success with this weapon and will easily be a top contender for legendary heavy machine guns that can be used for a very long time. So go ahead, farm this weapon craft it and see just how fun this one weapon can be in all activities. If you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on twitter to keep up to date with destiny, content and more. Once again thanks for stopping by, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one.